Hello Gemini and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of May 14th through the 20th. Um, I just flew in late last night so I'm just doing the readings now and my voice is hoarse because that happens to me is when I'm tired or I have been up for many hours just exhaustion my voice kind of gets hoarse <laughs> so I apologize for that. Um, I will be going through my emails. I literally, and I'm not exaggerating, I have 2,000 plus emails to go through. And I, I will get through them, try to do some over the weekend and then. If you did um, purchase a reading, um, I know I did. I, I know there are some, some I already scheduled before I left. And the rest of you who did purchase the readings, I will be scheduling you for your reading very soon. So I'll be contacting you soon. And... Yes, let's get on with this reading for now. Beautiful energy. Very abundant energy, okay? So this is um, very fertile, so this can indicate pregnancy. This can indicate abundance coming in. This is um, extra money, extra bonus, gifts. That's beautiful energy. I absolutely love that. Um, now, you do have a message coming in, all right? Uh, for some of you, there could be a reunion or you could be re reconnecting with someone who will be very helpful because everything's going to align, right, to this fertile energy. So it's just all, it's in the center and it's coming together. They could be very helpful. Um, there is definitely also a focus on you. Don't let others drag you down, Okay. Just say you have a great idea, you know it's great, or, and you're just set to do it. Don't let anybody bring you down there. That's one thing I'm seeing too. Because I do see you still. Um, this is like your self-esteem or having some doubts, self-doubts, okay? Because there's another thing too here is set realistic goals, okay? Maybe you need to readjust and just say, um, I'm going to give you an example. Just say you're on a diet and you say you want to lose 30 pounds in two weeks. That's not very realistic. Can it be possible? Yes, but you can get sick. I mean, you know what I mean. Anything's possible, but maybe you should lower it. Let's say 10, even that's drastic. So that's another thing maybe you should reevaluate because you do have some um, maybe over exceeded some goals here. Try, you know, So try to lower the expectations one step at a time. Now, don't give up. That's another message is coming through here. It's like follow through to push through, okay? There's going to be some kind of turn of events, a little bit of anxiety I'm seeing there too, but you do have progression, okay? I do like that. You do have a wish that may come true, okay? Just be careful of any impulsive decisions this week too. For a lot of you, you may be starting over, okay? Starting fresh, starting from scratch, Okay, I do see endings, new beginnings. It's almost like a rebirth. Um, for some of you, you're very set. You could be even maybe stubborn. You know, you set this goal, you're very enduring. Or for some of you, the energy is actually like my way or the highway too, okay? I do see some a little bit of stress with finances, even though I like that abundant energy. Again, I do see something like that. There could be maybe like a family member or someone close to you that could be a lot on your mind. Maybe you had a fallout with them or something, okay? They're in and out of your thoughts. Um, maybe you should like, you know, to, it, there's an energy here they could clear things up. It could just take a simple phone call, a connection, something like that I'm seeing too. Um, definitely ignore, like I said, don't let anyone bring you down. Ignore any unwanted advice from um, like um, people that you work with. Um, things like that, especially if it's financial, okay? Financially related. It's like, you know what you want, you know what you can do. The message is make your own decisions, okay? We could always listen to advice, make your own decisions. Um, there is some nice romantic energy coming through too. You may um, spend quality time, one-on-one -on -one time with um, like a partner, you know, for those that are in relationships too. Okay, and sharing your feelings and getting to know, you know, more and more. So I'm seeing that energy as well. I just see a little bit of delays. It's a little empty here. Okay, you're wanting or you're waiting for some results. Okay, so just keep pushing forward. Um, you are still more positive about it, even though there is a little bit of doubts. 
there is some unexpected energy. This could be unexpected changes coming in. Um, yeah, there is definitely a wish or something that could be, you know, that comes through. But again, it's a little bit of a scattered energy. You have the ups and downs, and that could be emotionally based. But you are definitely focused on accomplishments because we go right back to that. So that's looking good. Okay, on your plate. Again, the home foundation is looking good, okay? So there could be maybe good news, happiness, um, family supports, things like that. So it depends. Happy energy, again, I'm just seeing a lot of that um, happy energy, okay? A little bit of stress about um, finances or maybe you're thinking that um, projects or work or efforts you put into work maybe um, you're not getting the gratitude or the expectations from it. So I'm seeing that kind of, I'm just giving you an example energy, but you know, there's an unexpected, like, um, surprise, like you're, you get things you want. Most things are going to go your way. Okay. Win situation I see here too. Okay. And this could be connected to someone from the past. Okay. Someone very supportive too. So I'm seeing that energy again, you are going to be a lot more introspective, Okay, there's some self-examination going on. And that's really starts like now and really continues. It's for a long term, I see energy. Okay. And also it's like there's exploration, exploring like far away places, um, adventures, travel, people, all that is coming into focus. Okay, Gemini, um, that was your reading for the week ahead of May 14th through the 20th. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll catch you back next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best, and bye for now.